Yo people, what's up? Welcome back to Space Engineers! So, we had another update, and it's a small one, some bug fixes, and uh, one thing they added, or they, well, added it again, actually, and that is P Rotor Lock, I think it's called. I have to be honest, I never used that, because I wasn't really building a lot of things with rotors beforehand, so... Um, apparently how it works, they said they changed it a little bit, how it works now is that if you activate rotor lock, it completely stops the rotor from spinning, even if external forces are um, pressing against it. So, I guess before that, uh, it only stopped like the, the force that was applied from the rotor, and external forces could sh still turn it, I suppose, which means... If that is so, let's say it like that, if that is so, then that means you can now use that a bit better as, for example, like a claw, maybe? You, you know, to grab stuff, even if it wants to fly away, maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll have to see if that is a... or I will have to check if people actually are using that feature, if that is something interesting, something relevant, but yeah. So, what are we doing today? Um... Basically, what we're going to do, I want to add one more thing to this ship, before I'm kind of satisfied, and that is an automatic stone dispenser. Because, as we mine, this ship will fill up with a shit ton of stone. Way too much. Therefore, uh, we need to get a way, uh, a way to throw out all the stones. And this will involve some uh, conveyors, a... Uh, what is it called? A dropper? Or an ejector, I think it's called. Dropper is Minecraft term. Um, an ejector. And a, uh, a sorter, I think it's called. So yeah, we're we, we gonna need a few parts for this. Um, I think I'm gonna... I really need to think where I, where I put this thing. There it is, a sorter. Conveyor sorter. Uh, let me get that in my inventory. Let me take a look at this because I I rarely use these. So they have two entrances and they only go one way pretty much. So what I could do is put a, a conveyor junction here and then this here and then write a, a, a ejector right onto that. And that should work. Well, we'll, we'll have to try, I guess. So, ejector... A conveyor. Oh, we already have conveyors in our inventory. Sweet. Alright, let's take this off then. And add a conveyor junction. Because, you know, the thing is, if you're mining per hand, you can very easily just pick up the ore. But, of course, if you're mining with a big-ass machine like this, it's rather difficult, as you might imagine. So, that's the measure we're gonna put in place. Construction components, motors, uh, lo lots of lots of things, lots of things are needed. Uh, I think some of that, some of that, probably. Oh God, what else? Oh, there, there we go. Some of that as well. And I think there was probably something else. So I'll just grab some random motors. Hope it fits. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we were right. It was motors. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. And then obviously the... Oh, wait, ejector? Only for small ships? Oh, wait, um, but can't you use... Uh, wait. No, not collector. Can you not use a connector to throw out stuff? Am I mistaken? I'm not quite sure now. Is 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 it not working the idea that I have in mind? Let me let me just check something. Uh, connector. Throw out. That's the thing we want, right? Collect all and then throw out. Yes, yes, yes. That's 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 right. On big ship, uh, the the collector is what we want. Uh, connector, god damn it. So we need steel plates and more construction components. Yes, right on it, sir. 
And then we're gonna take this baby for a test drive. Also, we need to paint it, I think. It's a fairly large ship and it looks kind of boring with just, you know, um, the, the old normal paint on it. So we might want to paint this hunk of metal. Question is how? Well, white and red, obviously. Switzerland represent. <laughs> uh, and some of these. There we go, that should be enough, hopefully. And obviously, uh, if the connector is the thing to throw out stuff, then you could argue, yeah, we could do that in the top connector as well. The problem is, we don't have a sorter up there, and we only want to, to throw out stone. So now we have to set this up correctly. Obviously, otherwise it won't work. Uh, let me see. First of all, let me get the sorter. Where is the sorter? So... Is it called a sorter? Ah, conveyor sorter, that's why. Alright, filter, blacklist. We, we want to do a whitelist. Um, now, how... How do we do that? Oh yeah, you need to put something in it, right? Now we, we're, we're gonna grab... Some stone. Uh, probably gonna grab it by hand. And then push it into the sorter. And that is the whitelist. And then it says, okay, I will pull all stone through here if possible. Uh, actually, let me get a lot of stone because I want to test it as well, obviously. So let's get. Let's get a bit of stone. There we go. Two kilograms of... St uh, is it two kilograms? I think it's two kilograms of stone. And now... Um, oh, wait. We need to put it in. Oh, yeah. We can put it in here. I think. Let me let me check. Um, where is the conveyor sorter? Con God damn it. Conveyor sorter. There we go. So now... Uh, Put that in. Oh, can we? We can't reach it from this side. Is that a thing? Eh. There we go. Let's try again from here. Conveyor sorter. No. Am I doing something wrong? What? What is? What is the problem here? I'm obviously missing something. Not quite sure what it is. I mean, this is this is correct. This is undoubtedly correct, right? Oh yeah, let me get that. Oh, there we go. No, no, I, I just didn't scroll far enough. I'm an idiot. Okay, so now we get stone, and we add that to the whitelist. All right. Plug off the holes we just made because we're idiots. Or no, obviously the audience, you guys are not idiots. I am. <laughs> I don't think you can be made uh, held responsible for my faults here. <laughs> All right. So now, um, let me see. I can. Can I place? Can I place through this into the large container? Some st oh, actually, there's still some stone in there, so technically sh speaking, it should start spitting it out as soon as I correctly wire it up. Alright, so let me see. That's where it should come out, that, that hole at the bottom there. Alright, so now we get our connector. And now we have to check which one is which, obviously. Um, wait, we should be able to check which one is locked. Oh no, wait, 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 wait. That's not true. This one should be the right connector. Yeah, I cannot lock and unlock this. Yeah, that's the one at the bottom. Right, right, right. Okay, good. So now we say throw out, collect all. Yes. 
The stone pooper! <laughs> Look at these giant stones! These can actually be quite deadly projectiles. And I'm actually launching them towards Earth. <laughs> if there's a that is actually quite a deadly bombardment, if you think about it. 6.76 kilogram each stone. And how much did I have in there? Uh let me check real quick. Oh you know, just 646 that so what, like a um, thousand stones will come out or what? Wait, did it? That was everything that was, was inside there already? Wow, that was fast. How, ma how many stones are this? That's not that much actually. Well... Citizens of this planet, um, I wish you the best of luck. I just created a shit ton of meteors that will hit your faces. Good luck. All right, awesome. So this works. Um, so what I want to do now is to just go and see it while I'm drilling, you know? See it in live action, so to speak. Um, let me just... Sit in here. Um, disconnect from. Have I disconnected? Yes, I have. Did I? No, I did not. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. All right. So we're. Uh, I would say we go over to this thing over there, right? Oh wait, wait! Stop that! Halt! I'm running low on oxygen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> God damn it! No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! There we go. Oop! That was filled up fast. Thank you very much. Now we can journey over there. The thing is, it would be nice if this is uh, a uh, an asteroid with, for example, ice and uh, uranium. That would be swell. That would be perfect. And we'll accelerate to a agreeable amount. The thing is, I know there is some ice down there, but it's very close to the planet, and I don't want to risk this thing crashing onto the planet. Even getting into the planet's gravity is terrifying with such a ship. So, yeah, let's not do that, shall we? I think that's an acceptable speed, isn't it? Although this thing looks quite far away. Let's accelerate to, like, 70 and then... There we go. Huh. But that's pretty nice, actually. I think our ship is, um, it has now all the features that it needs to have. It, the only lacking thing right now is the, the atmosphere inside the ship. Because we don't have enough uh, oxygen, basically. But, um, you know, as soon as we find an asteroid with ice, this will be uh, resolved. Because then we can get a lot of ice into the internal uh, oxygen generator and it will fill up the tanks a lot faster. I mean, right, do the tanks even fill right now? Because oxygen is probably just spilling out into the ship, isn't it? Oh, the generator is even incomplete? Holy hell. Yeah, the oxygen tank is... Uh, they basically produce oxygen and they spill it out into the ship. Also, we don't have an airlock, which is a minor problem. It's a bit uh, not so nice, but, you know, airlocks are a nice thing to have, obviously. But for this ship, come on. It's an industrial ship. That's always what I imagine. That's like my excuse. It's an industrial ship. It's like bare bones. It's only the things that it needs to have. And everything else is luxury for these peasants that use space travel ships with airlocks and all that, that pizzazz. That's nothing for the working man. No, no. 
We only use doors directly into space. That sounds like the safety hazard right there, actually. But hey, never mind. So are we getting closer? Something I would really, really like is something like a rangefinder. You know, so I could point my my crosshairs at this and then basically have a... Yeah, like a rangefinder telling me, yeah, you're so far away from this thing. Is there something like that? Because I don't know. I mean, laser antennas would be perfect for this, right? I mean, they recently changed the laser antenna to have huge ranges. So they actually make sense now, because they I think they outrange normal antennas and you can actually make some connections from like moons to the planet surface. Because before that you couldn't, because it was just too much of a distance. So... Yeah, I think laser antennas, if, if, if they could do that. The thing is, I'm not too familiar with laser antennas. Maybe they already do that. But that would be a very nice use of them. You know, pointing at something and then, yeah, that's so so far away, like 50 kilometers. And then you know, yeah, I can still go for five minutes. I can go to the toilet. You know, stuff like that. But I think we're, we're kind of close here. Almost. Almost there. Now with the four uh, thrusters in the front, we deaccelerate quite, quite quickly. It's actually very good. It's better to, to, to steer, better to, uh, you know, maneuver, because you don't overshoot your target as much. Mostly. <laughs> also, the R generator obviously is on this now. Which uh, should uh, start to display some stuff once we're near enough. Don't think we're right there yet, but... But we're very close. That's actually a goofy looking asteroid. Really weird. Also, that one, uh, like right in the back there, is like a, a ring. Looks really weird. Almost looks like a, kind of a space station, you know, like uh, the, uh, like a long, tall structure with a ring around it. How close are we? Shouldn't the ore generator already send us something? It's so hard to tell how close we are. Don't want to crash into this thing. That would be horrendous. Although it just auto saved, so <laughs> thank you, game. <laughs> Would be terrible if it autosaved um, right before you crash, so you couldn't reload. I knew that happened in um, one of the Elder Scrolls games. I had that happen once in a while, um, where you basically you you saved and you didn't knew that were there was like a fireball or an arrow flying at your face, and then you die and you reload, and the 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 state is just like a millisecond before that arrow hits, and you're like reload. Duh! dead. And then the game automatically reloads again. Bam! You're dead again. <laughs> and basically that's how you lose a character. And that's why you always have two save states if you play a game. Especially a Bethesda game, because Bethesda games tend to be buggy as shit. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? I still don't get any... Uh... Is the ore generator uh, or detector on? I think it is. Oh, range! Duh! Iron and ice! Should we go to the ice? I want to go to ice first. Right up there. Get ourselves some some nice, cool ice for breathing. You know? Well, we don't breathe the ice, obviously, but... We're gonna make it into air. Somehow. Not quite sure how you do that, but... I trust space engineers. It knows what it's doing. So I guess we're just gonna trust right into this. I mean, that's what our ship is made for, kinda. Not quite sure we can get too deep, but... Alright, let's get it on. Crack the hull. And then we should already see uh, start sh seeing uh, stone shoot out of it. There we go! Oh, that's amazing. I love that. We're gonna pollute the air with stones behind us, but that doesn't matter to us. We don't care. 
That's actually one of the biggest problems they have in space right now. The pollution, you know, around uh, Earth. Oh, and I think I have another problem. And it's called... Uh, the light. Can you see that? they, The lights really just don't fit. Oh, damn, that... That is uh, awkward, actually. I think we have to remove the spotlights, to be honest. Because otherwise we'll, uh, we'll not be able to get in. You see, because... Um, right now, if, if, if this, this drill here would take off this bit, then we would fit through. Maybe we need to wiggle around a bit. It's always dangerous to wiggle around, but... Maybe turn? Oh yeah, you know, like stick in, sticking in a sword and turning it, making the wound bigger. That's what we're doing right now. Now we should be able to fit a bit deeper. Yeah, I think that works. And then turn it again. Carefully. Back in up. <laughs> it's a really, really, really careful, yeah, really tense. How you have to navigate this, so you don't break anything. I think we might really uh, get these, the spotlights off, because they're annoying as hell right now. We might even put drills there, just to make it even easier. On. Dig in. Did we get any ice yet? I'm pretty sure we didn't. Hmm. I'm not happy. Yeah, these, uh... The spotlights need to go. They need to go. They do not work. Yeah, you see there's just this... This little... Almost like a teeth that is ed like uh, edging on, because the 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 slope here that will actually not touch it for the most part, so we'll actually fit in. That's really curious. That it's just that little bit that's too much that won't fit in. That's very interesting. But I think we're getting to ice right now. We're getting right in there, right in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at this, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, now that I think of it, doesn't it look like a giant penis? Did we make a giant flying penis? We might have had, we might have done. <laughs> Whoopsie, that wasn't the intention, but now, you know, now I see it like this, maybe. <laughs> But it's weird, it's, it, it ejaculates at the back, so that's that's kind of weird, but that's okay. <laughs> Everybody has its problems, right? Uh, can we go a bit further? I think we... Come on! We can't get further in, I think we, we're stuck on something. We turn... Twist and turn! It's really scary. You don't know what's going on in front there. You could, <laughs> you could like borrow it into a, like a giant space creature's head, and you're like, "Come on, go away!" <laughs> All right, let's pull out and oh god, that's what she said. Let's pull out and see what damage we did. <laughs> All right, drills off, and just is the air vent? Is it on? Is it off? Is the air vent doing something? Yes, it is. It, it's it's probably low oxygen right now, but... Oh, well, obviously, because the oxygen generator is not working right now. Come on, just, just go outside, will ya? Thank you. Look at the... Yeah, that's a, that's a hazard. If, if, like, a spaceship is flying through here and it's very fast, it will totally smack into this stuff and destroy itself. Oh yeah, we uh, we hit ice. Very good. 
Very nice, that ice. It works! I'm, I'm very happy. This construction works as planned, as designed, as promised. Very nice. Let me, um, let me drill a, a second sample hole. And, uh, we'll... Let's check. How much ice have we picked up? Ooh, that's a... That's a lot of ice! That's, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, drill's on. Let's go for a second run, shall we? I really like these big machines. That's why, that's why I, 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 I play Space Engineers, basically. For the big things. Even if this, in, in like, Space Engineers terms, I think it's not even that big of a ship. But it's just a big part of machinery, and you're you're operating it, and you have all the control in the world, you know? You're destroying stuff. That's what I like. That's what I kind of missed about um, survival, I guess, now that I think of it. I played so long creative, and there, you b mostly you build stuff and you don't use it. So, being uh, in the pilot seat again, so to speak, and wielding one of these monstrosities to just dig inside... A asteroid like that. You can really see how it eats away at the inside. That's lovely. I love that. It's one of the great things about Space Engineers, in my opinion. Just the the, f the feeling that you have, you know, controlling one of these beasts. But we, I think we're stuck again. Let's go back a bit. Oh, 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 oh. Did we just... Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. I'm... I think I'm dumping too much stuff into space, maybe. Let's go back, and... There we go. Now we should be able to go in again without a problem. I wonder if I'm starting to break uh, drills and stuff. That would not be very optimal. Because it almost looks like there's sparks flying sometimes. So I'm not quite sure if I'm actually doing damage to the drills right there. I guess we are, once we're back in, in, in the base, we have to check real quick. Um, if we have some superficial damage. We're stuck again. Jesus. We're not getting further like this. Let's, let's, let's go out. Yeah, you see? Actually, that looks kind of amazing. It's almost like, um, you know, the, the 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 stone spike is digging in into the ship and almost ripping parts of it out. It looks quite amazing, actually. All right, let's make a third one. Just want to see. Let's go down a bit. Like, let's make a third one, like center, dead center, like so. so we can watch. Technically, I should, like, take out the center drill in the front, replace it with a camera. That would be an awesome picture. I'm not quite sure it would, um, if it would deteriorate, the, like, the drill power. So, kind of hesitant on doing that. But it would be awesome to see, like, the, how it eats inside the stone, you know? I mean, you can, you can see it like that as well, so... This is so lovely. I don't know why, this is so satisfying to me to watch this. <laughs> and all the, the stone that we're dumping out. Again, it's going towards the planet, I think. Is it? Oh no, okay. So, the people on the planet are lucky this time. They're not getting squashed by a million little stones. But, um, I think it was in, in Mass Effect 2. If I'm not mistaken, um, there's a scene where, yes, I know, GeForce driver is ready to update. Thank you. Um, there's a scene with like a military instructor, and he is in instructing some kind of like pilots or gunners of of like spacecrafts, and he's like, "Yeah, we're using this kind of shell, and we're using this gun, this caliber. It's big as hell. And just do you remember in space, you know." Um, what was it? Newton's laws are invalid. If something is in motion, it will keep in motion. It will not stop. It will not slow down. So, if you fire and you miss a target, you can be damn sure you're gonna ruin somebody's day. Somewhere, sometime. 
And I found that hilarious because most space games and yeah, Space Engineers is one of that too. The re uh, weapons in Space Engineers, they have limited range. Which is technically, I guess, not correct. You know? Oh, I thought I was moving, but it's the stones moving, actually. So, yeah, technically, these stones flying off, somewhere, somewhen, at some time, somebody is gonna hit these things, and they're gonna destroy somebody's livelihood. Guaranteed. So, that, I, I always found that funny, that scene, because that's one of the only space games that is, like, um, admitting this, or, uh, you know, talking about it. Oh, actually, that is kind of ugly. It's smacking against the antenna. <laughs> that is a bit of a design flaw. If you ask me. That's actually a huge design flaw. Oopsie. Well, you know. Live and learn. It's almost like an exhaust pipe, you know? You, I should bend it back like an exhaust pipe. It's just puffing up out stone, you know, every once in a while. <laughs> Oh great, now stone have caught on. And as soon as I break, they will probably launch forward and tear holes into my base. You watch. Well, actually, that's why I'm I'm aiming besides the station. I guess. <laughs> oh god. Well, we could... I think we could turn, I guess, to try to shake them off. There we go, that worked. Release the stones! It's like the... The space version of an oil slick coming out the back of your car. <laughs> Alright, at least I know now how, how far my station is away because I have... Oh, damn it, I, I forgot to make a waypoint back there. That's not that important. But yeah, now let's see, how much ice do we have? Um, well, almost 2,000... What is that, tons? Yeah, that's 2,000 tons. That's pretty insane, actually. So with that amount of... Uh, and, and Oh, wait. That's interesting. And now the stone... Because I'm not exhilarating, they're, they're... Ah, they're having the same speed as my ship. Therefore, they're not hinting the antenna again. That's actually clever. Because I was just thinking, am I standing still right now? But no, I'm not. That's because I, I turned off inertia dampers and stopped accelerating. I see. That's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> I, I, I Sometimes I love the physics in this game, even though they're probably not the most accurate ones, but I still love them to death. It's so amazing. <laughs> oh, damn it, I should... Should, uh, stop. I should s trying to slow down now. <laughs> Probably going to overshoot. Oh, see now? There we go. That's how fast these stones actually fly. That That's the thing. Because you're flying at the same speed, you don't get the speed you're at. And these stones are at. And as soon as you start to slow down, they're like, All right, see you later. Push! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to overshoot by a lot. Yikes. Well, maybe not too much, actually. Maybe it wasn't half bad, actually. You know what? That wasn't too bad. I should be proud of myself. That was not too bad of a navigation job I just did there. I mean, for such a big ship... I think props to me, right? Alright, let's park this stuff and finish off the the oxygen generator. And see how much how fast these things fill up. Slowly accelerating. Don't wanna smack into anything. Also I don't wanna smack into the, 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 the space station, obviously. That's always the hardest part of navigating, like these these very small maneuvers that you need to do. Because you want to really accelerate and make it faster, but if you do, you're going to overshoot again. So, I have to be kind of careful here. Also, I'm running out of air, which makes this a bit more 
hectic, to say the least, but that's okay. I think we're doing fine. Yeah, baby. We're back. Awesome. That was a lovely journey. And we're, we, we're not throwing out any more stones. That's perfect. We're not going to pollute our environment right here. Which is nice, I guess. You know, sometime in the future, maybe if I decommission this ship, I want to let it drop onto the planet and see how it crashes. Just for the, for, for the fun of it. Nice! We're back! So what does this thing do? Oh! There we go! I guess. So yeah, now it's producing oxygen. Sweet. It's still moving. Oh, the drills are on. That's why it's moving. Jeez, I'm an idiot. Ah, yeah, obviously. I just wanted to say, why is it only having power for two hours? That's because uh, <laughs> it's obviously producing a lot of stuff with uh, the uranium. Oh, wait, did it just expel a lot of air out here? I think it did. Oh, yeah, look, now we're getting oxygen in here. Can I already take it off? I can! I can breathe! Hallelujah! We actually managed to do it. Is it now filling up the oxygen tank as well? Let me check. Oh, sweet lord! It is working! And now we're gonna ex uh, get all the air out again. Swoosh! Oh, whoops. Uh, that's why it's dangerous to have no airlocks. <laughs> You're gonna kill yourself eventually. Ah, oh, yes, I wanted to check if there's any damage on the hull now. Let's see. Ah, uh, doesn't seem like it. Right? Let's check the drills. Oh yeah, there's some damage on the drills, actually. So, yeah, I guess that's maintenance for you. You have to keep your uh, your sh uh, your stuff in, in good shape. Or was that just a drill that was not f topped off, you know, not finished? Because everything else looks fine. Hmm. Weird. Nice! That was a good trip. Loved it. That was very nice indeed. And now we have proper oxygen and I'm going to suffocate because I talk too much. And I should go to this station right here. Nice. All right. Cool. Lovely. Very lovely indeed. So I have to think what we're going to do for next time. I think we, we need to find a, a asteroid with uranium. That's our next goal. Right. So I guess I'm going to take the, the SSC space moth. And we're gonna search for an asteroid with uranium. Until there, uh, until we do that, um, I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next week or next time, whenever that is. Take care.